So coming to our uh, hot topic, which is amblyopia. Amblyopia is uh, unilateral or bilateral reduction of uh, by, uh, best corrected visual acuity in the absence of any organic cause. So you should always check the vision before telling the patient is uh, amblyopia, uh, amblyopic. And uh, there should be uh, no reason. It's a diagnosis of exclusion. And uh, what are the features that the patient might have? Unilateral, bilateral, reduced vision with best correction. And there must be a, there must not be any other macular or uh, say anterior segment findings. So the one phenomena that they can ask you is crowding phenomena. That is, uh, if the patient is given one one letter, separate letter, they will be able to read. But if the as as in the case of Snellen's chart, if all the letters are kept together, the patient might not be able to read that. And then there is something called neutral density filter. That is, there will be no change in the amblyopic eye with the filter or without the filter. The patient will be reading the same thing. But in the case of uh, normal eye, if you put the neutral density filter, there will be drop in the vision. Amblyopia treatment uh, should be tried till the child is 12 years because uh, the patient might uh, lose the vision. So we have to try till 12 years. But the best thing is uh, 5 to 8 years. And uh, this is what is called lazy eye. The, the nerve gets weakened uh, without any uh, any findings. And uh, coming to strabismic uh, amblyopia, uh, it's caused by uh, uncorrected squint uh, where the protective mechanism of suppression leads to uh, amblyopia. I already told you because of uh, suppression there might be amblyopia. That is uh, because of confusion, the, because of the uh, strabismus, there will be confusion. Because of confusion, there will be suppression. Because of suppression, there will be amblyopia. That is how we, the strabismic amblyopia happens. Refractive amb amblyopia is unconnected refractive error. We see a lot in, of this uh, in a patient uh, because the kids do not tend to tell uh, that, that they are not able to see the blackboard properly uh, because uh, they usually read with one eye or uh, they think they know the, what they are reading is how uh, we have to read. So those issues are there and that's why uh, we uh, usually get uh, these patients later. And uh, one important thing that I uh, stress on the kids are, uh, they should always, always uh, have an eye checkup every two years or something, uh, after the age of six years, most probably. And uh, stimulus deprivation amblyopia, if there's any media opacity because of cataract or corneal opacity, what happens is there will be a visual uh, vision deprivation. That, that's the worst prognosis. That is why in the case of, uh, we are uh, alarmed at the case of uh, unilateral uh, cataract more than bilateral cataract. And uh, because there is an opacity and uh, because the other is seeing well, the, the opacified uh, cataractus eye will not be able to see properly. That's how uh, we uh, tend to treat it. So then coming to refractive amblyopia, there are uh, different types. Uh, anisometropic amblyopia is due to difference in the refractive error between two eyes. This leads to amblyopia in the eye with a larger refractive error if corrected glasses are not worn. So hyperopes are more prone to develop anisometropic amblyopia. That's basically one eye will have minus three power and the other eye will have uh, minus one. That's where you uh, get this anisometropic amblyopia, which is very, very, very common. I have seen a lot of patients with uh, minus one, minus one in both eyes, but not developing amblyopia because there's no anisometropia in the both eyes. They'll alternate between both eyes. But in this case, what happens is one eye has more power. So they will not tend to use that. The other eye, uh, because the power is less, uh, they'll be uh, using it somehow or the other. Then there is something called bilateral amyotropic amblyopia can occur if the refractive error is more and it's not corrected, like minus six in both eyes and the patient is not corrected. Then you will get a bilateral amyotropic uh, amyotropic amblyopia, but uh, minus one, minus two will not uh, usually get uh, amblyopia uh, in both eyes. Then there is something called a meridional amblyopia. It's uh, in the case of high astigmatic error. That is the patient having cylindrical power. So uh, cylindrical power uh, tend to give uh, meridional amblyopia. Then coming to amblyopia, there are a few treatment occlusion. Occlusion in the sense, uh, not the affected eye, the unaffected eye we have to occlude. Uh, basically, uh, the if I have a right eye amblyopia, what I tend to do is like I will occlude the left eye so that I will stimulate the right eye in order to see more and uh, the lazy eye uh, goes off by that. That's what is occlusion therapy. But uh, you should bear in mind that uh, if you do occlusion of this eye, there might be a chance of uh, stimulus uh, deprivation amblyopia in this eye also. So you should be careful and you should give only a preferred choice like two hours or six hours. That is how we occlude. We don't occlude permanently, uh, though the result might be good for this eye, but this eye suffers a lot. Then there's something called penalization because kids are uh, always naughty and uh, they don't tend to uh, put that occlusion. They feel shy on using the occlusion, then comes the penalization method. That is in uncooperative uh, kids, what we do is like we do put one drop of atropine and send the patient off in the good eye. So that eye becomes blurred and they tend to use the right eye. This is called penalization method that uh, we tend to use. But uh, again, atropine has, uh, has other side effects which uh, we try to restrict. But if the patient is really uncooperative, then we can give this penalization method. 
then there is something called pleoptic therapy that is uh, what they do is like uh, if the, this eye if my right eye is amblopic what did they do is uh, uh, they will uh, bleach all the other parts of the retina by giving bright light and only the fo fovea is being stimulated normally so because of which you will not use uh, other parts of the eye and you uh, other parts of the retina and you will use fovea uh, particularly so that is because uh, in arc and all uh, abnormal retinal correspondence and all this method uh, really works well then there is something called CAM uh, uh, stimulator that is uh, if you give uh, all these different different types of uh, uh, stimulation of the eye which is amblyopic uh, colored lights or uh, black and white uh, striped uh, lights we, uh, we give so that uh, the patient will be uh, able to uh, stimulate that eye and uh, see the uh, see the and get a better vision. So that is about uh, amblyopia and